Now this next set of comments from that portable monitor review reminded me of an app that I used to use when I had my day job, which is called Duet Display. And what it does is it turns any iPad into an external touchpad monitor, which is really cool. So I've got it running uh, on my Mac here. There is an application you have to install on a Mac or Windows PC. And then what you do is load the app up on your iPad and it works with just about every iPad out there. In fact, I, I was using this a number of years ago. So even some of the cheaper iPads this will work with. You take out your lightning cable, plug it into the USB port on the computer, and all you have to do here is attach the cable, and Duet will kick in here at this point. You can see it launching now. And now we've got an extended display here on the iPad, and it has touch capabilities here too. So I can actually use my Mac as a touch device, which is something that isn't normally supported. If I had a newer version of Mac OS X installed on this laptop, I could even uh, get the touch bar to display down at the bottom of the screen, even though this is not a touch bar Mac. So it actually adds some functionality. Uh, they've got a pro version that apparently allows you to use this as a uh, tablet you know, for drawing. So you can pull up Photoshop running on your computer on the iPad and then use the Apple Pencil for uh, making specific uh, things happen on screen, which is really cool. Uh, unfortunately, I think they charge a subscription for that Apple Pencil feature, which I think is kind of ridiculous. Uh, the app is $20, uh, so it's not expensive for an app that really has this kind of functionality. It will drive the iPad at 60 frames per second. You can adjust the frame rate for better battery life. It is, of course, a software renderer here, so it's using the Mac's uh, CPU, in this case, to generate the video you see on here. But if you have a Mac with a discrete GPU, it will use that instead. That, of course, comes at the expense of battery life. So you have a lot of control as to how you adjust this. You can even uh, go on the Mac here and adjust the uh, resolution that it's at. So it will do pixel doubling for the retina look on things, or I could add more screen real estate here by uh, making the resolution a little bit higher. So it's got a lot of flexibility to it. And again, it's pretty cool to have a touch screen uh, that you can plug in with a device you likely already have. So it's called Duet Display, about 20 bucks. There might be some other ones out there as well. Let me know what you use down in the comments. This channel is brought to you by the TV supporters, including Gold Level supporters Chris Allegretta, Tom Albrecht, Bill Reiner, and Kalyan Kumar. If you want to help the channel, you can by contributing as little as a dollar a month. Head over to lon.tv slash support to learn more. And don't forget to subscribe. Visit lon.tv slash s.